Well, good morning everyone. Thought I'd start the vlog off a bit differently this morning. Just uh, trying to wake up. It's currently half past six in the morning. Oh yeah. Deary be. It gets harder and harder getting up. I put the TV on to try and get myself awake, hoping friends would still be on, but it's actually now uh, SpongeBob SquarePants, which really takes me back to coming on Florida holidays because that's what I used to have on every morning as a kid. SpongeBob would be on nice and early before anyone got up. That's what I'd have on always, every time. So that's brought back some memories. I'm going to try and drag myself out of bed. Laura's already up getting ready. You all right now, Laura? Lazy. Yeah. Does get hard to get up. I'll need a coffee this morning. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. <sighs> I've got a third alarm to go off yet. Did anyone set about three or four alarms before they actually get up? That's what I like to do. The first one went off at like six. And I like to know I've still got about an hour or 45 minutes before I get up. One more alarm and then I'm up, Laura. Well, there's a lovely view to start the day. Two hot air balloons up in the air. Not seen them very often these days. They used to be up a lot more often. We have done it before, quite a few years ago. We went vlogging at the time and it was, it was amazing, wasn't it, when we did it? It was, it was spectacular. Really I've, never seen, I've never done anything like it in my life, yeah. Would be nice to do it again. Let us know your thoughts. Should we do it again? When I looked, it had gone up a lot in price since we did it. We had that one coming down into land there. But no, it is, if you ever get a chance to do it, it is absolutely fantastic. It's very unique, very different. I'm not as scary as you'd think. No, and, and very, it's very calm and quiet up there once you're up, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely, yeah. And you just get to see the views uninhibited, quietly just yeah. have nice conversations. It's lovely. You'll see this one just landing on the right here. If you've ever done it, let me know in the comments. I would like to do it again. Uh, but the the main, the main company now that we used last time either closed or went bust or uh, isn't operating anymore. Yeah, there they are, bringing it them. down. Wow. It's only a small basket, that one. It's only a small balloon compared to the one we did. Yeah. We went up uh, probably with about 10 people. I think so, yeah. That one's only got four in there. Yeah, you've got to be up nice and early for that, though. I think we started, I think it takes off about six in the morning. Yeah, I think we were up about five. Yeah, it yeah. Is, uh, it's an early start for it. But I would love to do it again. We should try and do it on one of our trips. Save up and treat ourselves. Yeah. It's not cheap. It's not cheap, as you can imagine, the maintenance, the insurance and everything on one of those. It's a lot. But the views we had were spectacular, I remember it. Looking right down onto Windsor Hills at one yeah, point. Yeah, because you could get quite close to the houses as well with it being a balloon. So it was yeah, really well, you can good, see how low yeah. this one's coming in now over us as well. Yeah. It's very, very unique. And one of the only places in the world you can do it, really, I suppose. There's not, you can't do it everywhere. It's got to be nice and flat like here, have a similar climate to here. Because it's going to hit the trees there. I know. Look at that. Jeez, oh my god! Literally just about to touch the trees. Here we are then. So the family are slightly late, so we're going to uh, quickly go through the drive-through and grab a coffee on our way in, since it is so early. Look at that sun! Gorgeous morning. Uh, price of the fuel. Let's have a little look at that. So unleaded is three dollars twenty-six a gallon. Remember, they don't work in liters. And diesel three dollars forty-nine a gallon. So not too bad. It has crept up a little bit since uh, we since we came a couple of trips ago. I think it was about three dollars ten, if I remember rightly. So it's crept up a little bit. Let's uh, get a nice coffee. So while well, just while we wait for uh, mum and dad and the gang, we've uh, brought cash out with us today because we do like to bring a little bit of both. And uh, we had a hundred notes. I knew there was no chance they were going to take a hundred and a 50 note and they still would not accept the 50 note i just i don't understand it i don't understand why produce notes that nowhere accepts the hundreds i can maybe understand but the 50s now they're not accepting them either the 50s never used to be a problem 
and now they won't accept 50s either so bear this in mind if you're going to bring any cash and you get you can ask or you get given any options with what um denominations you get get low 20s 20s or less because they just like even 50s now that she was like i can't accept that i'm like why i just i don't understand why they produce hundreds and fifty notes but don't accept them same in the uk 50 notes people go like whoa 50 notes like it's legal tender but i don't understand why produce them if shops and retailers can't accept them it's like you can see why they're used for for crime because they're the only place that that accepts them uh, so just bear that in mind it's just a little bit of a tip for you if you can bring a load of 20s 10s 5s because a lot of places are really struggling to um we're struggling to change our hundreds or fifties just that's just what the exchange place gave us um which is handy because you're not carrying loads and loads of notes with you but they just won't accept them so bear that in mind but it's, it's a new one for me not accepting fifties i mean i thought fifties were fine i know so whereas no in notes. in tenerife in spain hundreds and fifties are like a, a 50 in tenerife a 50 note where we live in spain tenerife a 50 note is like a 20 quid note or a yeah, 20 dollar note it's just awesome. so normal even the hundreds are like accepted but here in the uk you just can't get their heads around it so thought it was strange but uh, make sure you bring lower notes if you can okay here we go then first visit to animal kingdom are you ready for this laura right, well, love the animal kingdom. Love it. do like it in here it's a great park we're gonna head straight to the uh, River Adventure one that we've not done before. I always forget the name of it because we never ever do it. No, the no, uh, Pandora no, one, Narva, Narvi River Journey, I think it's called. Yeah. And then we might try and get uh, actual uh, Avatar done as well. Wouldn't mind a little ride on Everest at some point. Look at this, that's a big group, isn't it? Big group two, photo two, going two, on there. Yeah. Uh, looking smart as well. I like the little, t I like the t-shirt. It's all matching as well. I, so I love walking into this park. This park's really immersive, isn't it? Because you forget you're in the theme park, this park makes you go, what's this all? No. Like you say, very immersive, but a different feel as you walk in as well with the music and stuff. They get it right every time. So yeah, excited for this first visit, for this trip. Can't believe that. We've been here so long, we've not been to the Animal Kingdom yet. Hey. I'll sit, I'll sit. Some of the birds being fed this morning, getting their little morning Starbucks like us, starting the day off right. Pink ones are gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah. So just making use of our photo pass here with the lovely lady getting some nice pictures outside Tree of Life. <laughs> We've got a few family ones, a few separate ones. Jude's loving life up there. So uh, yeah, definitely make use of your photo pass. Late, lovely lady there helping us out. Thank you very much. We're gonna head that way now towards Avatar. But yeah, folks are past, especially this hour of the morning. No queues, great opportunity that was. So for Animal Kingdom, I would definitely say come straight to Pandora first if you can. Uh, it's already up to a 90 minute wait for Avatar Flight of Passage. So if you do get in for opening hours or even early entry, get yourself straight to Avatar and get it boxed off, get it done first thing in the morning. Uh, and then you can head across to the other side of the park. The likes of Everest is only a uh, five minute wait at the moment. You've got the safari, but I would definitely say just tick off uh, Flight of Passage first, come into the park, turn left, left again and just get it done, get it boxed off if you can. That's where I would head to first. I do like this park. The other thing that I like about this park is there's so much shade around on the walkways. Uh, like Hollywood Studios, you don't get that much shade as you walk around, whereas because of all the trees here, it's a lot more shaded, which is nice when you're wandering around. So this is where we're heading to first, the Narvi River Journey. It's only a 30 minute wait, which is good. Perfect for us. Haven't done this ever, I've never vlogged this ever. It's got this song in that always ends up sticking in my head as well. Yeah, never ever vlogged this. Been on it twice, I think, over the years. We always end up heading straight for Flight of Passage. So nice to do something different again today. Yeah, 30 minutes already. Park's only been open 15 minutes. Doesn't half jump up quick.
was a great little river adventure. It was actually longer than I remember. Laura's having a go on the drums now. They are good, aren't they? They are. Mum's going to play with you. Oh, no, Mum's aren't working. Try that one there, Dad. That one might work. Yeah, you get on get on that one, Mum. There's only one working, which is that one, I think. Even Dad's is. I don't know what Dad's doing because that. <laughs> working. A lot of them aren't. Try the ones over there. There it is. You're just no good, Dad. <laughs> How to give someone a headache on their way in. Well, creature comforts, and it really is for us, Starbucks. Creature comforts. Uh, we're just waiting for the rest of the family to join us. We're gonna have a little, everyone's uh, flagging and wants a coffee. We've already had one, but uh, mum wants one. Dad wants one, dad wants a tea. So we're in our creature comforts, eh, Laura? Starbucks, how typical. And I'm always in here, aren't we? And I love, this is another one of my favorite places to do a little time lapse of everyone pouring on in. Yeah. I enjoyed the river journey. It was longer than I remember it being. Chilled, very chilled I mean well. it is really interesting there's so much to look at in there isn't there yeah, it's amazing. I just wish it was a bit longer or there was a little drop or something in there yeah but then again the Vader for the kids who can't or the people who can't ride yeah the, the likes one. of Jude yeah yeah so the Vader for like those people who can't do that yeah. ride so they can get a bit of avatar and that's why I think it's like that it is nice it said 30 minutes it was literally about 15 yeah, yeah so it's uh I do think they, they ramped the times up on Avatar so people go to other places, I think. Yeah. A frappa camelato or something. A frappa camelato. <laughs> That's what she asked for. A caramel frappuccino. A frappa frappalato with exacino. No, oh my I'd say caramel frappuccino. Caramel frappa latte. It's not a frappa latte. Frappuccino. Frappuccino. What a flat white. <laughs> I think I'm best doing the order here. I think, I feel definitely, I don't, I don't even know what they're at for now. Do you now. know what a frappuccino is? Frappuccino is something that's like, um, frappy. Well, so you don't know what a frappuccino, frappuccino is, is then? No, you don't do coffee, you <laughs> I do don't you? do coffee. What does it sound like? Frappuccino sounds like... Uh, cappuccino. Cappuccino. Oh, right, cappuccino. But why is it called frappuccino? Why don't you do a melocino? <laughs> hey, a so a little coffee stop all done and we're off to see our friend now Jackie Ogden on uh, Flight of Passage My friend, I've missed her Good old Jackie So there's something stuck in your head Laura is there? <laughs> It really does get stuck in your head, even if we watch it on a vlog. Definitely, you looking. That's you looking for your makeup in the mornings. That <laughs> eyeliner, lipstick on, <laughs> eyeshadow. <laughs> it is, isn't it? <laughs> it gets stuck in your head. Really does. I'm looking forward to seeing Jackie Ogden now. I've missed her in some ways. <laughs> I've missed her in some ways. Come see me. Great. Welcome to the Avatar program. Soon, you're going to have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi rite of passage, flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ikron, or as we call it, a Banshee. Start scan. You've got them, Laura. You've all got them. <laughs> but don't worry, uh, they're very common around these parts. Uh, let's start the decon. Initiating GMR decon. Stay still over your number, you're not gonna feel a thing. You're doing great. Almost done here. They're all clear. My boss, Dr. Jackie Ogden. She leads her science team, which is part of the Pandora Conservation Initiative. Let's watch this piece by Dr. Ogden, who runs the program. Welcome everyone. 
I'm Dr. Jackie Ogden from the Pandora Conservation Initiative. This flight might be intense, but trust your guide and be brave. As the Navi say during this important rite of passage, Sibak Hope, rise to the challenge. Para su seguridad. Enjoy that then, Dad. I could hear you screaming oh, and wooing and everything on there. So realistic and intense. When you're falling off the cliffs and going through the waves. Yeah. I, I'm going to say, I think that's Disney's best. Yeah. I do. Enjoyed I mean, that. I mean, I'm, I'm still a little bit uh, freaked out. I, I heard you scream when you went upside oh, down. Oh, the upside down bit really. You don't, you don't actually go upside down, but the screen does go upside down. I think yeah. I had better glasses this time or something because it was even more realistic. Amazing. Well, we really did have a fantastic ride there, and I think everything just went perfectly. The smells, the, oh, the, water. the water hits, yeah. Everything was on point today, it really was spot on. Really when, good ride, really good ride. When you're riding through the wave that's over you, and the spray of the sea and everything. Yeah. It's like so, like you feel like you're actually in that wave. Yeah, it is fantastic. Don't let the look of the bike sort of put you off, no. because Dad here, I mean, he's not... I'm scared of heights, as you all know. He's not, you know, super fit or flexible or anything. They are, they look quite intimidating if you've not been on it before, but they're super easy. Feeling the breathing between your legs and everything. Yeah. It is amazing, it really is. Super and uh, Dad's scared of heights as well, but with it being a screen and things, you definitely give it a go. But yeah, those bikes, are, and they're quite comfortable as well. Compared to Tron, they are way more comfortable than Tron. Now you way see, more. if last week on the cruise, I'd have sat on that bike to do the, uh, the zip line the that you couldn't do. <laughs> that I'm fine. I'm still apologizing to the subscribers for. Uh, if I'd have been sat on the bike on an avatar, I'd have been fine. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> Some really cool Avatar merch in here. If you're into Avatar or you've got kids into it, got everything in here. You can, I think you can design your own. You can have the ones that sit on your shoulder. Some really cool stuff for the kids. So I really enjoyed that. It's a shame Mum couldn't come on. Mum was looking after Jude. I fancy a pet banshee. A pet banshee, I'm sure you do, if you could ride <laughs> on it every day. Do you enjoy that, Sarah? Brilliant. Yeah, Perhaps. one of your favourites. Yeah, it's top. Oh, top. So as good as the rides are, don't forget, even just walking around, there is so much to see and do and get pictures with and all the sounds going on. It's very immersive in there. So even if you see the queue lines might be too long for you or you don't fancy them, still take a wander in, have a little look, especially when it goes dark. All the floor becomes a luminescent. They've got all kinds in the trees and bushes, yeah. haven't they? Oh, it's just amazing to just walk through the day and then watch the sunset and see it all light up. Of a yeah, it slowly just starts to come out, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, you really do genuinely feel like you are in the film. Yeah, I, I do love the feel of this park. It has grown on me a lot, Animal Kingdom. I think Epcot is still my new favourite because of the rides. But in terms of walking around and everything and the smells and how shaded it is, definitely love walking around Animal Kingdom the most. It is a lovely park. Love the smells, all the greenery. Because in Tenerife where we are, a very sandy, dusty climate. We don't yeah, get you smells would never walk or like greenery like this. The mountain, yeah. No, nothing like this really. The little gorgeous yellow flowers on that tree. Extra bit of fun atmosphere going on here in Africa now with the uh, men on the drums. Everyone having a little dance. Different vibe this park completely to the others. Cultural as well, educational. Oh, that's good fun. A bit hot to be dancing though. So we're going to do something now that we've again never done on the vlogs, which is Festival of the Lion King. It's like a new trip, this, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so well, I've never seen this show ever. We normally just go beeline straight for the ride. So we're going yeah. to try this and then do Everest. Yeah, we're going to do Everest after this. It's not too long the wait on Everest. Now, this is on every hour on the hour uh, Festival of the Lion King. It's a very popular favourite. Uh, it's a little bit of a taste of what they have on in London's West End, isn't it? They've got the, the Lion King the show there Lion as well. There, yeah. But this is included, and this is good. It's a nice arena. I remember it as a kid, it being quite a nice arena to sit in to watch it. I've never been, so it's all new to me. All right, so you like Lion King? I do like a bit of Lion King, yeah. Yeah, then you're in the mood. So yeah, we're going to the 11 o'clock show for this. Probably find the earlier ones would be a little bit less busy. Probably, yeah. Because everyone wants to do the, you know, flights of passage, Everest and things. And then when it gets hot in the afternoon, people head in there. I think they're all busy, though. You can see people pouring out. 
It's a very yeah. popular show, this one. So get yourself in nice and early. We're here half an hour before, half ten. Yeah. You can even grab yourself some little popcorn, a little drink oh, or so if you want one, you know, you never know. Take yeah. a Starbucks in with you. Each of us will help lead one of the four animal sections. Let's see, I'll take the elephants. I'll take giraffes. Ooh, I'll take the lions. And I'll take the warthogs. And Tanner, Tanner, come on up here. Lion imitation. All right, pause, ready. And let's hear that roar. So, Lion King was good. Did you enjoy that, Laura? Really enjoy enjoyed a bit of Lion it. King. I've, I've never seen, I've only seen like little bits, but it was really good, really good for everyone as well. Do the look of it. Good for all ages, yeah. It was better than I remembered. Yeah, they had all acrobatics on there and everything like that. Dancers, singers, and there was still a bit of a theme as well to go along yeah, with. Yeah, the fire, the, the guy with the fire was really, really good. good. He was excellent. He yeah. did some stuff with that fire, and, and I was like. We had a baton, trail, and fireman, everything like that. So really, really good. That's, um, that's good little sing along. It was nice and cool in there, that's shaded. Good to go and watch it because it's really good. It fits loads of people in there as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it was nicely organised. No, it was a good show. That yeah, I'm glad we did doing, it. Yeah. And now we're about to tackle one of our biggest expeditions, Laura. You didn't know you were coming to uh, hike up Everest, did you? This trip. No, I'm not prepared. I've only got their trainers on. Well, I did book a little bit of a train that gets us most of the way. Right. So we'll get the train up. There's only one thing you, you've got to be careful and keep your eye out for these things called yetis. Really? Yeah. Are Dodgy. <laughs> nah, looking forward to this. One of my favourite coasters. 50 minute wait. Just going to keep an eye out for Dad. We don't know where Dad's gone. Dad's gone missing. Yeah, the standby line, quite long. Excited for this? I am. One of my favourite Disney coasters, this one. Yeah, I think Very I'm understated, really isn't it? I don't think it's understated at all. It's really good, Yeah, I like the theme of it as well. Pardon? I just hope we don't get attacked by no Yeti. Hopefully not. Make sure you store all gear in the cargo bag in front of you. Okay? And have a great trip. Train ride. Right? Hey, hey, hey. Here we go.
that is. Oh, absolutely. That amazing. backwards bit is unbelievable, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Oh, I feel we have really felt the thrill on that. Still some of my favourite ride merch as well, this. Look at this, this is a new one. The little hat lore. Nice <laughs> That's good. I, I just like all of the merch. It's just a nice design, nice colour scheme. And the t shirt there. Nice. That's quite fun as well with the backpack on. I just think it's some of the nicest ride merch around. Well, we're just heading towards the exit now. I think we're going to move through some of the shops on our way out. I'm just walking through Dinoland there. It is all due to change, but I do miss Primeval Swell. I thought that was a cracking oh, little ride. One, yeah. It's good fun, that. used to send you sick, but it was so fun. Proper old school classic, that. But it's gone. I'm looking forward to seeing what comes in in place of it once they redo that whole area. It was a little bit tired, but I do miss uh, Primeval Whale or Primeval Swell, whatever it was called. It was good, that. I used to get Dad on it. And he'd, uh, you feel like you were going to fly off sometimes. Oh, you did, because it tilted on the corners, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It always got me, that one. But there's always views to look at throughout this park, always. So it's nice. We've got something going on on the stage here as well. They always have the people out and about. A bit of uh, live music entertainment going on. Just come into one of our favourite shops here in Animal Kingdom. Laura's eyeing up the Pandora Charms, although we already did this yesterday. Arrivals here as well, just in. Some Finding Nemo. Dooney and Burks now. Very nice. The shark on. Different. Just looking at some mugs. We do have to have a Disney mug each time. What are you liking the look of, Laura? I like the look of that. It's quite yeah, nice. That's a nice simple They've not got my silver one in here that I like, the one with all the Mickeys yeah, on. I like that one, the you? cat. I love that marine because that, that's a bowl, that's on a cup. It's like a soup cup bowl, isn't it? That, yeah. That's a big cup of tea. Big. Other than that, there's not a huge amount going on. Some different stuff that they haven't got elsewhere. Ah, there it is. There's the one I like, this one. I'm not going to get it yet. Keep saying that, don't I? I but I do, oh, I do like it, it's nice. So we've come out of the parks, so we've come to get a Chili's takeaway for dinner. We're going to eat it in the villa by the, eat it by the pool, Laura. Yeah. Eat it by the pool. We're going to grab a little Chili's to go for our lunch before we meet our real estate agent. Fill the, uh, film the video of that. Here we go, we've got our bag of uh, goodies to go. Plenty of food there to enjoy by the pool. It was freezing in there, wasn't it? They have it so cold. I know, they have it so cold. So we're going to uh, get back to the villa. Enjoy your bite to eat. Then I've got to get myself ready and we'll do a little bit of filming. But, uh, oh, I'm looking forward to this now. Cheaper than the uh, theme park food, isn't it? You get a lot more for your money. So just our little setup outside, just enjoying our chilies, aren't we, Laura? It's a lovely set out here, isn't it? What I love about these villas, you can just sit outside. I normally sit outside, but when, before we were vlogging, I had a bit more time, so I could sit and have a breakfast. Hopefully over the pool and listen to the pool. Yeah, I like the sound of the pool machines. Don't you? They are like almost like white noise machines, aren't yeah, they? Dead nice. No, it's nice set out here. We've got the fan on above us, keeping us nice and cool. Enjoy a few of those nachos. But a nice little lunch that I just went for the side of egg rolls. Southwest southwestern egg rolls. egg rolls. That's all I had, wasn't it? I've had a couple of your chips. chips. I've not gone mad. Just the southwestern egg rolls that I love. To take away. Beauty that is. Obviously, you don't have to leave the. You don't, you don't have to tip. But we did the tip a little bit, but not the full Monty if you're getting weighted on. Yeah. That's just a bit quicker, isn't it, really? It's a bit more pleasant in the year rather than in the chilies, listen to other people's conversations. Well, chili, and they love their music in there, don't they? And yeah, it's, nice it's cold, see. whereas this is nice, own space, have a little chit chat next to the pool. Yeah, it's not. Nice. You can take this back to your hotel room as well. Don't forget, you have got chilies to go. Just tried some of Laura's chicken breast. Loved it. Might have to get that next time. You know how to cook a chicken breast? I know, it is. I really do rate chilies now. It's right up there. Yeah. We used to like TGIs, but chilies. I'd pick a chilies any day after that. Yeah. Okay, everyone. So, we've had a little bit of a busy afternoon. I've just filmed a lovely uh, video with uh, Gary from The Real Estate Company. Uh, I will link that down in the description. Really good video, quite interesting. Uh, find out about uh, properties over here and how it works, things like that. Uh, it's not sponsored or anything. I just thought it'd be a good little video to have a chat with him. Some of you always ask about property over here, how these villas work, what it's like buying abroad, 
Uh, so that video will be down in the description or on the channel in this playlist. You can check it out if you're watching uh, a while back. If not, if you're watching quite soon while we're still here, it'll be coming up. But yeah, we're off now for a little bit of a drive to International Drive, yeah. a drive to iDrive. Here we are. Uh, we're going to go to the outlets on iDrive this time, rather than the vinyl ones, see if there's anything different going on there. Uh, we're going to show you a little bit more of iDrive. Yeah. We might eat on iDrive, have a wander down there as well. Just have a little look at what's going on. We did do a little live stream from International Drive a few days ago and you all enjoyed it. So we're going to head back and see what's going on of an evening time because it's currently uh, coming up to six o'clock. So it's going to be evening when we get there. Nice to see if it's a different atmosphere at night time. Yeah, hopefully it will be. Hopefully it'll be quite nice yeah, and quite vibrant. No, we just had a nice chill in the, in the pool, had a shower and a refresh, didn't we? Yes, had a nice... My favourite thing to do out here is sit in the pool on a little rubber dinghy or whatever, listen to the motor of the pool going in the sun. Little Lilo on oh, and the, the sound of the pool heaters and the pool pumps. It is yeah. just a bit like white noise, isn't it? Yeah. I enjoyed the chilies. that was nice. That set me up for a bit of a later dinner. So let's jump in the car. Let's get to the outlets on iDrive, which is up towards Universal. We've got to go down the I-4 and things. But we'll see if there's anything different going on. It's not my favourite to go around, I will be completely honest. I do always recommend the one at Vineland. I still stand by that. But for us being on a bit of a longer trip, we're doing a bit of videoing and things, we're going to go and give the iDrive one a go and see if there's anything different might be happening. Best of an evening. Like might be. I, I just don't like it going around it. I think it's not nice to go around, but that's just me. Yeah. But we'll see. I might change my mind. Let's, let's jump in the car, get headed, and uh, see if it's any different. See if we uh, prefer it. Still enjoying the RAV4, by the way. Fuel economy is still really good. Aircon's really good in it as well. So we'll catch you when we're more towards iDrive. So we're just uh, on International Drive now. I'm just looking at that helicopter's just landed on that second story there. Right next to all those power lines, it goes through me. I mean, they're probably much further away than it looks, but they literally look like the helicopter would just land amongst a load of power lines. Freaks me out, that. It's just come into land then really low. Yeah, all the power lines around it. Oh no, freaks me out, that. Okay, everyone, so we've just arrived. Now, there is two outlets here on iDrive. There's Orlando Premium Outlets, and you've also got the Premier, Premium Outlet Marketplace. Both very close to each other. It can be a little bit confusing. We've come to this one first, which we've never, ever been to. We're not going to look in all of them here. Easy to park. We're going to check out the Clearance House of Under Armour because that sounds quite interesting. We might check out Adidas over there. You've also got Guess and Tommy Hilfiger around here as well. It'll be interesting to see if these are actually cheap compared to These could be even cheaper than literally a four minute drive down the road. You could walk it really. We're gonna drive is the Orlando Premium Outlet to International Drive. Yeah. So there is two, uh, bear that in mind. It can be quite confusing on Google. They're both very close to each other. But yeah, let's check this out. We've never ever been here before. Let's I see if this know. is, uh, could be the, the most this secret is, bargain place ever, this. I could find all sorts in this place. I could fill a suitcase up or I could find nothing. You we'll never ever out. know. We're about to find out. We will let's uh, see if the clearance house is uh, any cheaper and then we will pop round and uh, show you the uh, premium yeah, ones. That's, as well. that's where most of the shops are. You've yeah. got quite a few here, but there's even more in the Orlando premium outlets. But yeah, you've got gas here and everything. New balance over there. Luggage shop. $50 oh, wow. There you go. So this should be pretty good then. Let's see what we've got in here. Entire store, as Laura said, $50 and under. Well, here we go. It's massive in here, I will say. 
and uh, it's actually quite a lot, of, a lot of nice stuff even just walking in if anyone remembers this is similar similar i've got one the one that's a little bit thicker but that's nice though for only 30 dollars this is some of the golf gear these golf pants i've got them in shorts and they are quite comfy it's cheap that's a good deal that i do love this jacket you'll have seen me wearing it in the vlogs this is like a more thin version only mediums left though this is probably going to be the issue you will have to sort of hunt through that's the same price as well good deal you can see more jackets there you might find it on the shelf actually let's have a little nosy and we'll uh, cut in when there's anything interesting to show you so what we're struggling is with the sizes so i would be an xl in this i quite liked it but they've only got large and mediums the jackets only mediums uh, these ones have got a little bit more size so i think it's going to be very size dependent in here as to whether they've got your size or not but we're going to keep mooching just to give you an idea on the prices of the shoes so these are the flow model these are quite nice these i think these are ladies but these are 49 dollars 39 dollars in there you can get some real good prices tenner for those laura's probably going to go for them gym shorts they got the sports bra to match as well nice that's the thing. Oh, you found a bargain already. I think you've got them shorts, Laura, behind you. Those peach ones. Got lots and lots of t shirts. You only had the bra in double and triple XL. Uh, see, this is the, this is my problem, isn't it? Is the sizes. I've got plenty of these. These are lovely and comfy, yeah. them. Um, but I'm just not a green person. But yeah, I think it's going to be a little bit hit and miss. I've also got that as well at home. I've got that in blue. Some of it is the sporty stuff, some of it is the more thicker t-shirts. It's good deals, you just gonna have to deal with the odd sizes being around. If you can get stuff in your size, you're, uh, you're quids in because... You like to have matching, yeah. I'll keep checking because I love the Under Armour shorts as well, so I keep mooching. But some of it is like the, the unusual materials that you probably wouldn't wear normally. So we didn't buy anything, but it was worth a little mooch if they had stuff in my size, you never know. I probably would have bought a couple of things if it was my size, but just wasn't quite meant to be. But some good deals, tenner on the t-shirts, good for the kids gear. You know, the kids, when they grow up so fast, they grow out of it really quickly. You could get some good deals on the little Under Armour coats and Under Armour jumpers and things like that. Where uh, if they, once they grow out of them quite quickly, it doesn't matter too much because you got it at a good price. Uh, we're going to quickly check Adidas, some of these others along there, and then we're going to cut through to the premium outlets. But it's not bad around here, it's actually quite quiet. The shop was nice and quiet. Nice. Yeah. No one hustling and bustling. Parking was nice and easy and free. Yeah, that helps. Can't complain, really. No. That was a big, big store as well, and then it runs into all these smaller ones along here. So this is Adidas and it's, it's just as big as the Under Armour. Big, big shop, big unit. Plenty of stuff in here. How discounted is it though? Because this doesn't look, this isn't clearance this. This is just an Adidas store, I think. This might not be as cheap as your Under Armour stuff. Ah, okay, some of it. How do you know which is 60% off? Interesting. Got the Orlando City football shirt on there, $130. Doesn't look like there's any discount. This seems to me to just be an Adidas store, I think, by the looks of it. I'm not seeing much uh, discount or all sales final. So only the things with the regular price, only $5 off. I mean, it's not, so not quite as many bargains in this one. I don't think this is pretty much just your straight up Adidas shop, this. Ah, uh, okay, so it is discounted. It's 60% off the entire store. There you go. There's not enough of these signs around. Okay, so entire store take an additional 60% off. So there you go. It is discounted. So the uh, Orlando City share was 130 minus 60%. So everything's 60% off, Laura. I've just found the sign. You're into them, are you? Camo? Yeah, I'd like some. Really? Not, not sure about them. Camo? You're in the army now, are you? So here's a full list of what you've got here. New Balance, Calvin Klein, Lacoste, Levi's, Nike. I've got to say, though, I think most of it is going to be 
super hit and miss with sizes. We couldn't find a single thing in our size in Adidas there either. So, but it's, it's, I mean, it's always worth popping in because you never know. But I think the most popular sizes, like your extra large in men's t-shirts, your size all smalls medium. and mediums in the ladies is mostly uh, all gone. But always worth popping in for a look. You've got the cake factory there. Don't want to be tempted in by too many cakes. Let's have a look in the window then, go on. Do empanadas in here, chicken and cheese, ground beef, Brazilian empanadas. Let's have a look. Oh, there's some amazing cakes in here. That looks amazing, that one, the bueno, like a bueno mousse, isn't it? Oh, tempting. So we just popped into New Balance just to see what the deal is. Uh, if you do buy one pair, you get the second pair half price, he said. So I think if you buy that for 75 and then you wanted them, you'd get them half price. You've got quite a lot in here of your New Balance stuff. I know they're uh, quite popular fashion-wise, the New Balance, they're quite nice. Under a pair of jeans. And you've got loads in all the boxes and stuff here as well. Even New Balance flip-flops, I think, sliders. Interesting. You have got a big toy shop here as well with all your fun pops, I think they're called. Loads of them in here. A couple of lounge flyers and stuff as well. Pokemon cards. Plenty of stuff for the kids. You put all them in your Crocs, don't you? I think they're all yeah, for your Crocs. Yeah. Well, we looked along a few more. We did see a lovely uh, set of subscribers. Hello if you're watching. But uh, yeah, it's not a huge amount going on, to be honest. I can see why it's a bit quieter. Great stuff for the kids, if you want kids' clothing. Again, if you're odd sizes, it's always maybe worth popping in if you've got spare time to have a quick look. But uh, we're going to move on now and go to the uh, proper premium outlets. These were okay, but just not much really happening, to be honest. We're going to scoot across now. It's only a three-minute drive to where uh, the premium outlets were. I think there'll be a little bit more going on more shops and more size ranges. Okay, here we are then, the Orlando Premium Outlet, literally just around the corner. Uh, we did go past uh, Dieselland or Deserland, however you say it. That's a big like car museum thing. I've never ever done it. If any of you have, let me know what you thought. Is it worth a visit? Quite uh, fun exploring a bit more of I drive on this trip. Seen a few more things. Starbucks, craving one of them at the moment. I could just do with a little hit, to be honest. Has been a uh, a long old day, that's for sure. Got to try and remember where we're parked. Right outside Vinito. Yeah, parking nice. Yeah, parking nice. It's just navigating around here. If you've not been here quite a lot, it, I find it quite uh, confusing getting around here. It's a cool little uh, open container wine bar thing there. Get a mimosa, cold beer. It's quite different. So are we going left or right, Laura? There's the question for you. Left. You want to go left first, okay. See what takes our fancy as we wander along here then. So you have got Michael Kors in this one. They haven't got one of them in the other one. You've got the sneaker store, which is all your fancy sneakers where they wrap them up and they're all special models and things I've, I believe I'm not into all those air forces and stuff some of the little um, units are closing up because it is coming up to seven o'clock but most of them are all open until nine so got a couple of hours to enjoy here if we need it got a Dooney and Burke if you like those bags they're the ones that uh, we showed earlier on in Disney some of those new releases yeah Vera Bradley there. So there is different shops here that aren't in the uh, the one on Vineland. Not gone in any yet. We'll have a quick look in gas, I think. Anything catching your eye in gas here, Laura? So far. I have seen a store over there that you will definitely want to go into. Oh, yeah. Gee, you got them ages ago, didn't you? Yeah, I love them. There is a store across the way there called Kate Spade, which I know you're going to want to go in, I'm sure. Yeah. Right. You bought something in there last time as well, Kate Spade. In that one, in this particular one. To the bag. You bought a bag or a pair, so I remember buying something in this one here. Might have been a black and white bag, mightn't it? I think so, maybe. So we've got 60% off most of the things in here. 
almost too good to be true. $99 for oh, them, no. Laura. Oh, I that one was in the shop the other day, that one, the flowery one. So they're, they're $99. That's uh, cheaper than the other day, that, I think. Okay, so there's some to bear in mind. Because this one is a much bigger than the one at Vineland, this Kate Spade. Quite like the white one. So Laura's eyeing up this one here that's on the special for the $99. Because the one you've got, the black and white flowery one, it, it, you've hammered it, haven't oh you? Yeah, God. you've hammered it it's, for three years, haven't you? Nice. It's trying, but it's that one's nice, that. I think that's a good choice. That could be the one. Nice and I like size. Yeah. yeah, perfect size for you for work and stuff. Well, so far we've tried to mooch in the shops that aren't in the other mall it is hard to navigate there is sort of no flow you've got to go in and out again and then in and out again it's not like a nice circular one but i've got to say coming at this time seven o'clock lovely and quiet it's not too hot either got the whole shop to yourself it's a really comfortable time to be shopping isn't it yeah. just the, the ins and outs and things are a little bit confusing or a little bit they were tedious, but we've got more shops here, definitely. So I'm doing well with the shopping. I'm going to get these two from the Volcom shop. These are two for 70, two for 70 and I like them. I thought they fitted quite nicely. I've got one for a, a bit of filming that we've got coming up because I didn't bring enough shirts with me no. somehow. I think I must have missed packed. But yeah, I quite like them. Let me know your thoughts. Nice and colourful on the right, a bit more toned down on the left. What would you go for, right or left? Ooh. I like the right, I like the both, but I'm, I like the wacky right, the one on the right, yeah. Okay then, it's the one you've all been waiting for. It is the Disney Character Warehouse, and it looks pretty well stocked as well, especially for the end of the day. Let's have a little mooch in here then, see what Disney bargains are going on. I know you've all been waiting to see this little bit. Everyone loves a bit of the Character Warehouse. Fresh deliveries every week as well, so it does change all the time in here. Look at, look at that, all that, all the bags at the back there. Loads of Dooney and Berg, Disney bags up there. Some nice Disney art for sale up there as well. Okay, we're pretty well stocked in here today. Let's have a good mooch around then. Plenty of toys today as well, which is nice. Laura's just uh, looking at maybe getting her uh, nephew, maybe a Buzz Lightyear. Yeah, he is quite, uh, does feel a bit cheapy. It's that new style as well from the new film, isn't it? Maybe that's why he's on sale. How much is it? See the, the prices. Fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars yeah. is cheap, isn't it? It does move and stuff. <laughs> Plenty of Crocs in here as well. Uh, most of them are in the big sizes. Quite like the orange Florida orange bed ones. Well, this is this is really well stocked considering it's the end of the day. I can't believe how much is in here. I don't know where to look next. Got some of the 50th celebration stuff here, a couple of the hoodies, the tracksuit pants as well, and the little cardigan. Just gonna keep trying to show trying to show you around. That's a nice uh, nice little fluffy lounge fly jumper, that one. It's nice that. Nice and comfy that one, Laura. You felt it? Oh, Feels lovely that. I know, you'd love that, wouldn't you? As a little like a pajama jumper, how much is that? 35, it's not bad for a spirit jersey, is it? 30% off clothing. So is that an additional 30% off? Yeah, or is that just what it is? Pick it up and we'll check. It's a cool little um, set for the garden, isn't it? All yeah. the wall-y stuff. That's quite nice, that. Some nice little gifts in here that you can get at a nice discount. I think this is the most stocked we've ever seen a, um, a character warehouse, Laura. Yeah, got a couple of Dooney and Bergs. Lounge flies, not so much today. Laura, it's a sign. We've seen this in both character warehouses now. I think you need him. I'm not having my house. I think you need him. I think he's just so you. Go on, you know you want to. in the Disney store. What did we get, Laura? We got some, that little something for Dad, didn't we? Yeah. He uh, does these long drives now to see my sister and uh, he keeps stealing um, my other sister's one of these. 
So we got him a nice one. It's the Corksicle, really good quality with the Epcot on it. He does love Epcot, he loves yeah. his Guardians as well. Now we're just looking, I don't even know the name of this stop. It's Paris Barnhimi Cafe. These cakes look amazing. The tiramisu look caramel fudge looks amazing. The I know, look at it. Caramel fudge looks amazing. Caramel brownie. Oh, very tempting. Very tempting to do all kinds of croissants and burgers and stuff as well. Ice cream. Does look good in there, tell you what. It's a, I know, it's a proper French bakery, that. Just checking this section now. We've got Oakley. Hugo Boss, I love Hugo Boss. Uh, you've also got the Nike shop down there. Just a couple of last little shops we want to check uh, before we move on. We've got a nice sunset sky behind Aldo as well. Laura likes a bit of Aldo. So, yeah, definitely more shops, but my word, my my legs have hit that two-week wall where your legs are just like, can you just give me a break now? Please don't walk anymore. My little feet are like, uh, well, I can't even feel them. They're just numb at this point walking around. Let's see what we've got going on in this little section. I'm just going to quickly check out the Oakley vault. Let's see if we can find my sunglasses in here that everyone uh, everyone always asks me about my sunglasses. I do love them. But they've only got similar at the moment. So I'm this shape, but with the uh, metal frames so mine are slightly if you can say slightly different but they are that shape and they're these prism lenses these are the big thing the blue prism lenses there they are they prism yeah prism polarized they're them right there they're my exact glasses 250 dollars that's them they're the exact ones i've got prism polarized in the blue love them these are the pair i had before 260 these are the full holbrook frames they're not bad, them, Laura. Not bad. <laughs> That's why. Yeah, they're not bad. They're the ones I had originally, but they did rust a little bit around the frame, so they did uh, discontinue these and change them to them with the plastic frames. But yeah, I've had both of them. Both of those exact ones. Love them. Absolutely love them. So the only way you're going to get any discount kicking in is if you buy two pairs. So if you found another family member or a friend or your wife or your kids wanted a pair, Come in, buy one pair, get the second one half price. So that's the only way you're going to get any discount on those. Other than that, I'm sure I paid less than $250, Laura. Sure I did. Yeah, sure I paid less than that. Okay, Aldo time then. Look, Laura can't even wait to get in. Loves it in here. Oh, you don't need that. How much is that? You don't need that. Very quiet in here. I think they're getting ready to close, I think. So they've still got these that Laura bought a few trips ago. These are ten dollars. You got these like a few trips ago. They're like little Ugg slippers. So you got them ages ago. They're still in here in the clearance section. These are interesting. Little Disney Aldo. Is that a bag? Is it Laura? Cinderella. The Cinderellas are Jasmine with the different shoes as well, like princess themed. How much is the bag? Sixty-four dollars on sale. Interesting. Just having a little mooch in Bath and Body Works. I don't think there's many sales on really so much in terms of it being an outlet. I don't think it's like outlet prices really, but here is all your uh, all your gear. There's, some of it is discounted. A lot of it is mostly just the normal range that you get in the shopping malls as well. This one is buy three, get one th free on the uh, body care. So if you like your moisturizing body washes and things at the beach, and what that smells like. Yeah, the only stuff you're going to get discounted is, you know, only certain things. Well, that one's like the waves, some of the moisturisers. But most of it is all your normal full price stuff, which is fine. At least you've got one here. I'm going to go all the way to Florida Mall and things. Anything in particular like, Laura? I like that spray. The glittery spray. We met a lovely subscriber wearing that, didn't we? Yeah. $20 is a weird thing. I don't know. It's up to you, isn't it? It's up to you. So Laura's just dying up this little gym outfit, I like it, and we get semi-annual event 50% off the lowest item, so you'll get whichever of them is cheapest, they'll be half That'll off. Be 15 quid, there you go, that's all right. So the whole set will be how much? Um, about 50 quid, the whole set. Okay, 
We've got different colours and stuff. Uh, they haven't got more of the shorts I like that I got in the vine than one, unfortunately. Yeah, like so I have to keep an eye out for them again, yeah. I got them and been wearing them non-stop. Love them, so comfy. And do, if you were into, we were on the I wasn't edge, sure, yeah, because like they've got the short lining in them. But I did like them, dead comfy. Okay, well, that's going to complete our little visit to here. Just to show, uh, it was actually both of them were 50% off. So $33 for the little gym outfit. It's good going. Under Armour's good quality, you wear them all the time, wash them Most all the time, and gym clothes are under they've armor. never ripped or anything, have they? No, always really them good. Don't fit them anymore. Yeah. yeah, always good. So, we're gonna head back to the car now, and we're gonna go to iDrive. We're gonna find somewhere nice to eat, somewhere maybe different. We'll see what happens. Yeah. We're gonna have a wander down, show you what the evening vibe is like around Icon Park. That'd be nice. Just see what happens, can't we? Yeah, that'd be nice, that yeah, see what's like in the dark. Yeah, we've not been down onto International Drive for a little while of an evening time. A lot of talk at the moment, as I mentioned in a previous vlog, about how it's changing a lot. I drive, it's becoming a lot more expensive, becoming a little bit more higher end, especially the hotels as well. I mean, we'll see how busy it is of an evening. There's been a lot of Brits in here, I will say, definitely. A lot of Brits around. Coming, coming, yeah, yeah there's been a lot. That's no? no, good, good for Orlando, good for Orlando. But uh, Laura's card's currently melting in her bag, so we're going to. Let it dry off. <laughs> Stop melting in the car, in the air con. And we'll find somewhere for a bite to eat. I am really hungry now. I've hit that brick wall, Laura. That I'm hungry, legs are tired. That wall that you seem to hit all the time in Florida. You all know the feeling if you've been before, the one where your legs just want to give up. And your feet are like blocks, They're like these. My feet feel like them in a pair of on clouds right now. Concrete brick. So here's a quick thing I'm going to point out. You're going to probably think this is really random and I'm sure loads of you already know it. However, I get this question all the time with my car hire in Tenerife. Uh, with the cars, it's very hot outside. You have the air conditioning on and so many people call me up, rightly so, and they think there's a, a leak or a problem with the car. If you see these little puddles like this underneath, you might think, whoa, there's a bit of a leak in the radiator or something. This is all air conditioning. So this is all condensation that's come off the air conditioning condenser. So if you see this, don't panic. So many people honestly call me up all the time. They think they might have a leak underneath the car or something like that. And they're quite amazed when I say it's just air con um, condensation. So bear that in mind, you will see this, especially in Florida with the heat and the humidity. You'll have your air con on, you'll see that. Do not worry about it. Uh, you probably just check it's not oil, but you'll see it a lot. It's just air conditioning uh, condensation. They do keep on top of maintaining the cars over here. So I uh, just thought I'd mention that because I get it so much in Tenerife. So we're just near Icon Park now. Uh, we were gonna park up, but I think I'm gonna take a little bit of a drive. Let's see if anything takes off fancy. We've got the Outback Steakhouse. I think we'll have a little drive up and down a bit, see if any restaurants jump out at us before we park. You got the Starflyer there on the right. Oh, you don't think you'd ever get me on that. Don't think. Maybe when we hit 100,000 subscribers, I'll do it. <laughs> but uh, until that, if that ever happens, I doubt I'll be going on that. Carabas Italian Grill, anyone been there? There's so many we've never tried. But we do have to bear in mind as well, Laura's gluten free, so we'll have to suss it out. We did try the Uno on here one time, we vlogged that, that was so nice. And then we tried an Uno on 192 and it was horrendous. So that's put us off Uno a little bit. Eat at Joe's, anyone been there? Eat at Joe's, fancy eating at Joe's, Laura? That's a crab shack. Oh, okay, maybe. <laughs>
Here we are then, right under the Star Flyer. We've just parked. You can see the uh, Orlando wheel there as well. So we just parked up right next door. And we're going to try Charlie's Steakhouse, I think. And we've been scouting out some different restaurants yeah. and uh, seeing what was going on in terms of gluten-free and stuff. I'm quite happy to have a steak or some chicken or anything. Yeah. And uh, Charlie's was coming up quite good for the uh, reviews, wasn't it, Laura? Yeah, so we'll see if we can get him first. And I'll go see if we can get in. It is busy down I Drive tonight at the moment. Really? Especially uh, all these nice posher restaurants. Yeah, a few moody people along oh, the way shouting at the car and stuff. Some especially young lads. Especially when you, if you're filming, we're just trying to show well, the views. I wasn't even filming, though, no, that's the point. Uh, someone else getting arrested car. further down as well. Shouted at the car in front, so I looked down. He went, Stop looking at me, stop looking at me. I'm like, Yeah. You know and what I mean? And then someone else getting arrested as well. It was yeah. a. Yeah, it's unusual vibes tonight. Tuesday night, isn't it? Yeah, Tuesday night. We'll see if we can get in Charlie's. I mean, it's got its own complimentary valet, so I don't know how expensive this is going to be. I think it's going to be... I thought it wasn't too bad, Charlie's, but we'll see. It could be well worth it. At this point, we just need to eat some nice din-dins, don't we? Yeah, I am starving. There's another Italian down there, Vincenzo. There were loads of people going in there, all dressed up as well. They've also got complimentary valet. But I'm sure you'll all be enjoying these views. Look at that, star flyer. The slingshot, big wheel. Well, I can never do that star flyer, I don't think, ever, ever. Okay, so change of plan. It was uh, very, 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 very posh, very strict dress code. We're, we're like dressed, you know, just casual. So we're gonna give that one a miss tonight. We might go back another night, but yeah, we're gonna uh, give that one a miss just for tonight. Yeah. Looks lovely though, it does look really good. You see the flames going on the cooker and stuff. Did like that one, yeah. Did look nice, yeah, but just not the right night for us tonight. Aged steaks, prime seafood, fine wines, yeah. Let me know if you've been to Charlie's Steakhouse before, was it worth it? Let me know. We're gonna have a little mooch around now, see what's going on. We'll find somewhere else for a little bite. Ah, oh, see, there it goes. It's going up. See, at that point, Laura, I'd be losing my marbles. That is high, man. No. I'm afraid not. And all you're doing is sitting on some little metal chairs, not even strapped in properly. Now you see, the height's oh, not a problem. Oh, no, The metal no. basket is in, the chairs aren't a problem. However, if you're going around in a circle, that's a problem for me. That would not be sick. Oh, oh, no, couldn't do it, couldn't do it. Nice views that way, though, with the, uh, I do like the views. There's someone just gone up on the slingshot as well. Oh, I do that. Yeah. What we'll do, we'll wander through Icon Park and cut out. There was another steakhouse over there I quite like the sound of. Salt something. A little bit different in here than when we came in the daytime. So don't forget you have got the multi-storey parking, which you can park for free on uh, from levels four up to seven, I believe it was, uh, or three to seven. The first couple of uh, floors are like premium parking where you have to pay, but the rest are free. The little car park we've parked in is free as well. So you're free to come down and have a little bit of moot, a little bit of a mooch. I've got to pay. Sloppy Joe's. Oh, Never really attracts me that one. The name is the name. Yes, the name. I don't think they serve Sloppy Joe's as well, don't they? Um, Shake Shack. Hot dogs, burgers. Do they do gluten free in there? I think they might do, you know. Have to check that out as well one day. Now I am tempted by this breathe thing. I would like to try some of the oxygen. I have done oxygen but before. Is it worth it? Oh, I mean, I love it. Yeah. But is it, is it expensive? Anyone done it over here? I can't remember the, I can't even remember the price when I done it, but I loved it. It was really fun. Oh, there was in Greenfields. So it was oh, well, that's a bit different, <laughs> isn't it? This is a proper professional place, this. It's a uh, happy hour until five, special oxygen bar and aqua massage pricing. Inquire within. And so I wouldn't fancy it tonight, but you know when you're flagging after a few days of the theme parks, it could be good, couldn't That'd it? Be really good. Honestly, oxygen tanks are really good. Yeah. That's very uh, Key West, isn't it? Very lively in there. Bit of a bit of a tin roof bar. Looks lively in there. I like the theming with all the old school uh, signage. I like that. We got Uncle Julio's. If you've eaten in any of these restaurants, do please let us know in the comments. We've need, never eaten in any of them. That's where the guy's getting arrested over there. It's, uh, it's very lively, I would say. Very lively, but it's like a, it's a mix. It's lively, 
but then you've also got all of these nice sort of poshly finished restaurants as well yard house another one i've never heard of it's definitely changed a lot i drive over the last few years especially with icon park i do feel it becoming a little bit more upmarket a lot more modernized as well So we got a little bit past eating, didn't we? So we've got a new plan. Laura's gone for a milkshake. Yeah. Laura's just gonna have a little milkshake and something when we get home. Yeah. And then I'm gonna take you all to the world's largest McDonald's just down the road and I'm gonna have a McDonald's. Unfortunately, they don't do gluten-free for Laura, but I'll give it a go. Yeah. Laura, how is the Shake Shack milkshake, please? All right. All, all right. We waited a long time for the milkshake. Waited a long time and it was we watched her make it and then she just put it on, on a stand for like ten minutes while it I all melted. Knocked big out how to work the, the squirt it. She didn't do she just couldn't squirt it, so she ended up just like pouring the cream on. Oh it was just she's like trying to squirt it, then the gas can the canister was empty, so I just had to throw it away and get another one. She's trying to like work it out. And then by the time she's messed around with it, then when it goes flat, she pours it off. Oh. And then took another bag five minutes trying to make it. No, so not really worth it. It was six six dollars fifty as well. Mm. Not worth nice but not worthy. It's oh. nice but for the around. Yeah, maybe we just got I think everywhere at the moment here, everyone seems to just be a little bit on a bit of a go slow. Yeah. We'll see what this McDonald's is like. Hopefully this is gonna be a bit better and, and if I don't eat now, I'm yeah. gonna be past it and yeah. I'm just not gonna eat. So we'll jump in the car, Laura's gonna enjoy a milkshake. You can get some chips, can't you? Okay. So here we go then, the world's biggest McDonald's. Absolutely insane here on International Drive in Orlando. The car park is huge. I've never seen a car park so big for a McDonald's. I think it spans over two floors, three floors. It looks absolutely bonkers. Let's give it a go. Let's show you the menu as well. See if there's some interesting things on the menu that isn't on the UK McDonald's. Yeah, I just need something quick to eat and uh, this was right on hand so looks busy though wow it's massive and it's busy it's absolutely rammed we've got a whole look at the whole size of the cakes and everything going on here cakes and ice cream we've got a fish tank in here jeez we came in for a quick mackies look at these ice cream we've got going on we've got cinnamon rolls apple muffins Oh, this is nuts in here. Absolutely nuts. Let's see what's going on. Okay, here we go then. Let's have a little look at this menu then. Starting with the chicken, the standard McCrispy, spicy McCrispy, which I might go for. Uh, let's see what else we got. Your different nuggets, same as usual. Ooh, 20 McSpicy nuggets, actually, that might be one. We've got fries. Home. We've got, We've got all day breakfast in here. You can have a breakfast uh, item at the moment, then the rest is all in the morning. Sausage McGriddle. Interesting. Sausage burrito. Hot pancakes and sausage. Chicken McGriddles, I'd like that. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Uh, home. Oh, no, we haven't those. got any of them because we haven't logged in until we don't come to McDonald's, can't you? Oh, you just get some bacon. Get a little side of bacon. Splendor. Home. Deals. 
no, no deals on. Got no idea what we're doing here, guys, but we're going for it. One of these meals. How'd you go back? Oh, no. Cancel item. We're not doing very well here, are we? Well, it's not really a dollar though, is it? That's not a dollar, is it? What else have we got? Is that it? There's not much on the menu then, is there? That can't be just it. Oh, we're them. 13 cookies. So in the sandwiches and meals that we've even got, people do talk to me about this and they've messaged me about this pizza that they do in here. Build your own pasta. What is going on here? McFillet, diced green peppers. You can even have pasta in here. Add your jalapenos, broccoli, olives. Cancel. Oh my word, there's even different pastas you can choose from. That's, yeah, that's weird. I don't pasta in McDonald's. I mean, wow. could be the best pasta you've ever had in your life. Build your own pizza. Let's see what happens in here. Bacon, sausage, bacon bits, pepperoni, diced peppers, tomatoes, spinach. Well, I think I'm going to go for. How do we go back? Cancel item. Any other unusual burgers? Oh no. I'm going to go for a McSpicy. Deluxe McSpicy. McCrispy. Spicy McCrispy. Okay. I'll have it as a large meal. Yeah. Okay. Can you kind of show us the um, calories on it as well? Uh, I might go for a large. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That, that one. I do like that. The Fanta. Uh, Customise ingredients. Yep. Customise that bad boy, Laura. So Let's remove off. the spicy pepper sauce. So you can go for light, so zero. Gonna, potato rolls, yeah. and you want that, don't you? want sausage, uh, bacon, sorry, sausage, and American cheese, no mayo, no mustard. Okay. Yeah. That's the one. I think we're good to go, Laura. That's my meal, buying us the salad. Let's give it a go. Yeah, pizza and pasta, that's a new one for me in a McDonald's. Let me know your thoughts, everyone, in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on the world's biggest McDonald's. We've not been upstairs yet either. Look at the kitchen, they've got a flame fire oven for the pizzas. Absolutely bonkers in here. Okay, it's absolute chaos in here. We've got given our table numbers so the food is brought to you. You can go upstairs or we can stay down here, Laura. I mean, the seats here. I've got to say, it's a bit of a mess in here, really. It's, it's not great, to be honest with you. It's absolute chaos, to be absolutely frank. Uh, but it's, it's just something to eat. I just needed to eat. But, you know, I'm going to be sitting on other people's chips and stuff. Do you know what I mean? It's... Uh, it's not the best. I'm going to quickly show you upstairs. If you wait here, yeah, Laura, I'll wait quickly here. show everyone upstairs because they want to see it. If you really, really want to eat McDonald's when you come to Orlando, really, really, I think, I think it's, I think it's probably you know low down on the list in my opinion. It is a lot of opinions, but it's high up on a lot of people. Um, I mean, it's, it's quick and easy, and it's cheap as well, isn't it? People who are sensitive to different kinds. Of yeah, I just I think at this time of night it's just bedlam. People have come out the parks, I think. It's just absolutely nuts in here. I think if you can, take it back to your hotel room or eat it in the car. So this is upstairs, it's got its own games room and everything. Crazy. It is massive in here. It's even got its own little shop, play area. Bonkers, absolutely bonkers in here. Okay, here we go then. I've got no straw for me drink, so now I'm gonna drink that. I'll have to go and grab one. Um, and then we've got my burger here, my McSpicy. 
That looks all right to be fair, it's nice and hot. Chips, a little bit of uh, ketchup will do me and then job done. This, if you're wondering, is a blue Fanta slushy. It's gorgeous. It's just like a blue slush, like the um, Fanta ones, really nice. You can get these for like a dollar in the drive-through as well. They're lovely. But yeah, I'm gonna dig in now, I'm starving. So it is actually very nice. It is hitting the spot. The chicken's nice, nice and hot. I've just said it looks It's just very chaotic in here, isn't it? Very, very bright, loud, chaotic. Could do with a bit of a clean up. Yeah, I think the poor staff are run ragged, there's no time to clean. Yeah, Not even a little bit. Really hard yeah. Here. So Laura just went and hunted down my two cookies I ordered separately because I forgot. So Didn't go quite so smoothly. They're nice and warm though, are they? They're nice and warm. No, oh, I went hey. It's not even warm. What do I do? And then he goes, I need a manager. <laughs> and then he goes up to the till and goes, from behind the counter, those they are. So they've been just sitting But they're not even here. warm. I think they were warm when they got made. Oh, hey. Let me give one a try. <laughs> so it's not warm, but it is very soft and gooey, and it is very nice. Look at that, it just falls apart. It's quite nice, actually. It. It's done the job, it's done the trick. I wouldn't rush here if you just like McDonald's. I wouldn't particularly come to this one no, unless you want to try the special pizza or, pizza, pizza or the pasta or the ice cream. Then I'd just go to a normal one that's a bit quieter if yeah, you're driving. If you want, I drive. Obviously, come and give it a whirl. The value for money is it is still there, but everything I had I think cost fifteen dollars. Nineteen. Nineteen. So, I mean, yeah, you could go to a restaurant and get a proper burger for that. Yeah. But if you want to give it a go, it's here. It's done the job for me. Job done. I feel a bit sorry for the staff. They are quite overworked as well, which is a shame. Yeah, there's a lot but going on. It's done the job. And it's open 24 hours. Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, am I finished? Okay, so we are finishing the vlog the following day um, because we did just get back and absolutely crashed out last night, didn't we? Yeah. It was, uh, it was a long day, long day. Uh, the little McDonald's, well, not so little. Let me know your thoughts on that one. Uh, I hope you did enjoy the vlog. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Make sure you do subscribe. There's plenty still to come. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it from us. Hope you did enjoy a little bit of a view of international drive at night time as well that was quite good very very different to the daytime very different yeah very different very quiet in the day night time a lot more lively once the uh the park start to close as well but so thank you all very much and uh, stride on we'll see you soon bye guys